Okay, today's procedure, I'm going to be removing the filter dryers because this was the replacement for a burnt out compressor. And so it's time to take out the suction line. Uh, this is only a temporary filter dryer I have in there just for extra clean out and drying of the system. Somebody else worked on this and I definitely did not trust their procedures because they burnt out this unit. They burnt out this unit and then on the other side of this uh, area right here, just on the other side, they burnt out another unit. Uh, three of the four other systems, they had some overcharged and some undercharged. So I'm definitely going above and beyond to make sure the system is clean, dry, and tight, and especially dry. So that's why I have this nice bigger filter on here. And because whatever the hell they did to the other ones since they burnt out this one too and this was the new replacement a cheap garbage Goodman uh, that we all love so oh uh, one of my subscribers asked me they had uh, they just bought the s man I think it was the 380 and remember I told you practice on your own unit unit at home play with your own air conditioning at home but don't tap into the refrigerant lines because you're new, you're a beginner, and every time you hook up your hoses to your refrigerant lines, you lose a little refrigerant. So do what is called a non-invasive test. Go and download MeasureQuick. Watch some of Jim Bergman's videos on non-invasive uh, test procedures and apply with using your S-Man and your sensors. I can't remember if you got the sensors or not. And, uh, but you can manually take the temperatures and you just have to manually input them instead of having the fancy bells and whistles, Bluetooth sensors that could do it from a distance. You'll just have to walk inside and outside and take temperatures and pressures. But go to MeasureQuick, download that up, and practice on how to do non-invasive testing with the equipment you have right now on your own home unit. You said you're going to school, you're in an HVAC school and you're learning. Um, you just Buying a kind of fancy S-Man is a, a little jumping ahead of the game when you're just a beginner because hopefully you stay in this trade. Um, if not, that was kind of a waste, but you'll learn something. You might keep it and do your own thing. But other than that, learn about non-invasive and perform those procedures on your home equipment, teaching yourself at the same time you're going to HVAC school while you're going to class. All right, I'll get back to this after I get these. Uh, I'm gonna pump down the system and take these out of the equation here, remove this, remove this, and replace them with a straight piece of pipe. And then I'll come back. 